In a world of universal similarities, ancient blood reveals a unique and curious mystery that has intrigued scientists, geneticists, and historians alike. Most humans share similar blood type markers, but a rare population stands apart with a peculiarly distinct trait, RH negative blood. The Basque Cro-Magnon people of northern Spain and southwestern France have one of the highest concentrations of RH negative individuals in the world, and their genetic profile raises a fascinating question. Could this rare blood type trace its origins back to a much older, enigmatic population, the Neanderthals? Nestled between the rugged mountains of northern Spain and the sweeping Atlantic coast of southwestern France, the Basque people inhabit a land that is as unique as their heritage. The Basques are known not only for their distinct language, but also for their unique genetic profile, which has intrigued scientists for decades. Unlike most European populations, the Basques show a high degree of genetic continuity with Europe's ancient hunter-gatherers, specifically a group called the Western Hunter-Gatherers. This link provides a fascinating glimpse into Europe's prehistoric landscape, suggesting that the Basques may be the living descendants of Europe's earliest inhabitants. The Basques are one of Europe's most enigmatic populations, known for their distinct language, Euskara, which has no known relation to any other language on Earth, the Basque people have long fascinated anthropologists and geneticists. Studies show that the Basques have a unique genetic profile that sets them apart from other Europeans, with low levels of admixture from later migrations, such as those by Indo-European speakers. They are thought to be direct descendants of some of Europe's earliest hunter-gatherers, preserving a genetic legacy that stretches back thousands of years. In addition to their RH-negative blood, Basques also have a higher prevalence of blood type O another ancient trait. These distinctive genetic markers suggest that the Basques may have retained traits from a very early population, potentially dating back to Paleolithic Europe. But what could account for such high levels of RH, negative blood? This is where the Neanderthal connection becomes intriguing. This question draws us deep into the roots of human evolution and across the rugged landscape of Basque country, exploring the tantalizing connection between RH negative blood, ancient humans, and the mysterious legacy of Neanderthals. To understand the mystery, let's begin with the basics of the RH blood type. Blood types are classified by two primary systems, the ABO system and the RH factor, positive or negative. The RH factor, named after the rhesus monkey where it was first studied, refers to the presence or absence of a protein on the surface of red blood cells. If you have this protein, you're RH positive. If you lack it, you're RH negative. Globally, about 85% of people are RH positive, while only 15% are RH negative. The prevalence of RH negative blood varies by region, with the highest concentration found among Europeans, particularly the Basques. This trait is rare enough that it suggests an ancient origin, a genetic anomaly that persisted and thrived within certain populations while nearly disappearing in others. But how did this distinctive trait take root among the Basques? The genetic inheritance from Neanderthals has influenced many aspects of human biology, from immune system responses to skin and hair traits. However, there's no direct evidence linking the RH negative blood type specifically to Neanderthals, despite its unusual concentration among Basques. The absence of clear evidence has not stopped speculation about a possible connection, especially as researchers explore the uniqueness of the RH negative trait. While no definitive studies link RH negative blood to Neanderthal ancestry, it's an attractive hypothesis for several reasons. Firstly, the presence of RH negative blood among the Basques, a population with deep ancestral ties to Europe's prehistoric inhabitants, hints that the trait could have ancient origins. Some researchers suggest that Neanderthals might have carried an early form of the RH negative trait, which could have been passed on through interbreeding with early modern humans. Neanderthals lived in Europe for hundreds of thousands of years, developing unique genetic adaptations to their environment. If RH negative blood provided some kind of selective advantage, such as an immune response benefit in cold climates, it's plausible that this trait could have developed among Neanderthals and then been passed on to modern humans. This might explain why the trait is most prevalent in European populations with high levels of early hunter-gatherer ancestry, like the Basques. Another possible explanation for the high concentration of RH negative blood among Basques lies in genetic drift and population isolation. 
During the last glacial maximum, around 26,000 to 19,000 years ago, large portions of Europe became uninhabitable due to extreme cold and ice coverage. Populations in Europe were driven into southern refuges, including the Iberian Peninsula, where they remained isolated for thousands of years. In these isolated populations, rare genetic traits like Rh negative blood could have been amplified due to genetic drift, a process by which certain traits become more common purely by chance. After the last glacial maximum, as these populations expanded northward, they spread their unique genetic markers, including Rh negative blood. This could explain why Rh negative blood is more common among isolated populations like the Basques, who retained a high degree of genetic continuity from these Ice Age populations. One intriguing theory is that Rh negative blood may have provided an immune system advantage. Studies show that Rh negative individuals can have slightly different immune responses, which could have been beneficial in certain environments. If Neanderthals or early hunter-gatherers with Rh-negative blood were better equipped to fight specific pathogens, the trait might have been advantageous in certain climates or conditions, allowing it to persist through natural selection. Today, Rh-negative blood is most significant in the context of pregnancy, as Rh-negative mothers carrying Rh-positive babies can develop antibodies that threaten the fetus. However, in ancient times, this trait could have persisted if the immune advantages outweighed the reproductive challenges. This would have allowed the trait to remain in isolated populations, especially if they practiced endogamy, meaning marrying within the group, as the Basques historically did. So, where does this leave us? The Rh negative trait among the Basques remains one of Europe's most fascinating genetic mysteries, tantalizingly close to an answer, yet elusive in definitive evidence. Theories abound, from Neanderthal inheritance to evolutionary drift, and from immune advantages to unique regional adaptations. Each theory offers an intriguing perspective on the origins of Rh-negative blood, yet no single theory provides a complete explanation. One thing is clear. The Basques are a unique population, genetically distinct from their European neighbors, with a cultural and biological heritage that likely extends back to Europe's earliest human inhabitants. The high frequency of Rh negative blood among the Basques could very well be a marker of this deep heritage, potentially connecting them to ancient populations that once roamed Europe's Ice Age landscape, whether Neanderthal or early hunter-gatherers. The story of Rh negative blood, the Basques, and the possible Neanderthal connection is a tale of genetic heritage, mystery, and survival. It is a reminder that our bodies carry markers of our past, encoded in ways we're only beginning to understand. The Basques, with their high incidence of Rh-negative blood and unique genetic profile, offer a window into the ancient world, a world where modern humans and Neanderthals intersected, where small, isolated groups shaped our evolutionary journey, and where a simple protein on a red blood cell can hold clues to the deepest roots of humanity. In the end, whether Rh-negative blood originated with Neanderthals or arose independently in isolated human groups, it connects us to a legacy that has persisted against all odds. For the Basques and their ancient ancestors, this legacy is more than just a blood type. It's a testament to survival, adaptation, and the enduring mystery of human evolution. The Basque language, Euskara, is another piece of the puzzle that hints at the Basques' deep-rooted heritage. Euskara is a language isolate, meaning it has no known linguistic relatives and does not belong to any major language family. Some linguists believe that Euskara could be a remnant of the languages spoken by Europe's ancient hunter-gatherers before the arrival of Indo-European languages. While no direct evidence links Euskara to the languages of Western hunter-gatherers, its survival and isolation mirror the Basques' genetic continuity with these ancient populations. Euskara's uniqueness reflects the Basques' cultural and genetic resilience, preserving elements of a pre-Indo-European past. The Iberian Peninsula, with its relatively mild climate, provided a vital refuge for these early hunter-gatherers. Here they found shelter from the harshest conditions of the Ice Age, living off the land and developing unique adaptations for survival. Genetic studies show that the Western hunter-gatherers possessed a distinct genetic makeup, and traces of this ancestry remain in modern Europeans. However, the Basque people exhibit particularly high levels of Western hunter-gatherers' ancestry, suggesting a unique link to these ancient inhabitants of Iberia.
the last glacial maximum not only shaped the landscape of Europe, but also had a profound impact on the genetic diversity of its human populations. As the ice sheets advanced, the populations in Europe became increasingly isolated, leading to the formation of distinct groups that evolved independently in their respective refuges. The Iberian Peninsula served as one of the most important of these glacial refuges, allowing populations of early modern humans to survive and maintain their distinct genetic heritage. Modern Basques exhibit genetic markers that are highly similar to those found in ancient Western hunter-gatherers' remains, suggesting that they are direct descendants of these Ice Age populations. This genetic continuity has led many scientists to view the Basques as a living link to Europe's hunter-gatherer past, preserving a lineage that dates back to the Paleolithic period. Adding another layer to the Basque and Western hunter-gatherers' story is the possibility of an overlap with Neanderthals in Iberia. Neanderthals, who lived in Europe and parts of Asia until about 40,000 years ago, inhabited the Iberian Peninsula for tens of thousands of years. Some evidence suggests that isolated groups of Neanderthals may have survived in Iberia until as late as 25,000 years ago, potentially overlapping with early Western hunter-gatherers populations. Additionally, Basques tend to have a more robust muscular build compared to neighboring populations, a trait reminiscent of the physical adaptation seen in Western hunter-gatherers and, to some extent, Neanderthals. While this could be a product of the Basques' adaptation to rugged mountainous terrain, it's possible that these traits reflect a genetic legacy from ancient hunter-gatherers who shared similar characteristics. The Basque's connection to Western hunter-gatherers is more than just a genetic curiosity. It offers a tangible link to Europe's prehistoric past. In many ways, the Basques serve as a living archive, preserving genetic and cultural elements that were once widespread across the continent. Their high levels of Western hunter-gatherers' ancestry reveal a remarkable story of resilience and continuity, a survival through the tumultuous climatic changes of the Ice Age and the waves of migration that transformed Europe. The Basque story is a testament to the depth and complexity of Europe's human history. Their high levels of Western hunter-gatherers' ancestry, unique genetic markers, and distinct cultural identity make them a fascinating case study in human adaptation and resilience. As the direct descendants of ancient Iberian hunter-gatherers, the Basques represent a rare link to a prehistoric era that shaped the genetic and cultural landscape of Europe. In the rolling hills and ancient towns of Basque country, this heritage lives on, woven into the fabric of a people who have held their ground in Europe's cultural and genetic landscape for tens of thousands of years. Thanks for watching and please let us know what you think in the comments.